is our GTO just about ready to paint. It's very well taken care of. Well, it's tape time on the GTO. First thing, when you gotta, when you gotta back mask these uh, vents like that, clear coat's gonna pull up in there and leave razor sharp edges everywhere. I have to remember to kind of push that out with a little tool or something right after I clear it, and try try not to open the hood. I'd like to leave everything sealed up and masked um, for buffing. I put a little flag there. Hopefully that'll remind me. Doing a lot of overkill masking. I've got paper underneath where paper is going to be going over. Um, the guy's done a real nice job detailing this engine compartment. And I want to eliminate red overspray blowing in there as much as possible. Get all the paper formed in. I'm gonna slowly close the hood and make sure this stuff stays. And I want to do that. That's gonna take a few minutes. Spent a lot of time making sure everything's sealed up nice. I'm going to do these doors last. Um, pretty critical. I'm going for a back roll, try to get a nice solid seal. It's going to be a little difficult in here. It's tight. Probably should have put the roof down. Um, do not want red overspray on a nice black vinyl top. And it looks like this is fairly new. And then, uh, then I'm going to spend a little time with the easy edge tape in this area. Um, getting this all masked off and sealed. Um, somewhere for sure I'm gonna have a little puddle of clear or something, there'll be a, an edge, but those can be taken out after. Um, as long as it's just a couple of spots. And here's how I'm attacking the deck lid area. Just keep this below the edge where some of the red paint is showing and you'll be okay. So with the latch out, I just wired, wired the deck lid down. And that's pretty much how I got it looking. And we even have to mask down here. The yeah, underneath is detailed pretty nice. Yeah, I was under here with lacquer thinner and a rag. The back of that lip is coated with something that tape's just not going to stick to. So I taped to this side. There's a little bit of this lip that's not going to get painted. I'm going to go back and mask from here back and just do a little black spray bomb along there. And it'll match the frame underneath. Main thing is it's so nicely detailed underneath that I just can't let overspray get in there. Um, here's how my edge is running around the quarter, and down the rocker, and here's the only place that you can't really tape perfectly. Let's see if I can set this up, I'm not sure if this is showing. What I'm going to do here, right, let's put it here, there we go. Nope. Not gonna stay. Is it gonna stay there? Yep. Okay. I'm just gonna get as much as I can see and get the paper into. And I'll put another one up here. Cover it 
much as I can. And it actually works out pretty good. I do it like this all the time. And then down here, in there, you don't see anyways, and we got the right color in there, that's the main thing. If it was a real big dollar paint job, yeah, we'd be taking that off and figuring some other ways of doing it out. Let's try it like that, okay. Just jam that in as far as it'll go. And there's other things you can do. You can get foam tape and try to get in there, but it just gets to the point where I gotta get this thing painted. Mainly it's here. You know, you don't see overspray there, you're good. Okay, first coat of base down on the uh, GTO. I got two to go, and uh, why am I in my why am I in my Jeep doing about 90? Well, um, I just realized there's absolutely no more thinner for the base coat. So, uh, luckily, there's another body shop down the road that has some, and I'm picking it up right now. That's a big goof up. Um, if we had sickens, I really would have been screwed because we were the only ones in the area using it at the time. Okay, so with the exception of some small parts, the GTO is painted. Um, uh, it took actually it took most of the day. I didn't think it was going to take that long, but um, just about all morning masking it. I just really took my time with it, and um, um, there's some dust on it that I'm not sure where. I really took a lot of time making sure it was wiped down numerous times, blown off, tacked off. Um, Dust explosion from somewhere in that car, and uh, it caused little fish eyes on the on the rear, on the right quarter area of the car, and a little bit on the deck lid. Um, and I never get fish eyes in that booth, so they came off the car. Probably some little area that had some. I'm sure that car has seen some armor all in its day. Cause it is very well taken care of. Um, my thing with fish eyes is. Um, I baked that car for about 20 minutes and uh, so I could shut the booth down and I, I saved the clear coat, the little bit of clear coat that was left in the cup and I'll go back and I'll just dab, I'll just dab that fisheye with clear again and it, it'll just kind of puddle up in there and uh, when it comes time to buff I'll just sand the high area off. And uh, that's pretty much how I'll fi fix a fish eye. I'm not going to go in and bury a bunch more coats of clear. That just causes more problems. Um, but there's um, a little more dust than I'd like and some fish eyes. But um, there's really nothing on there that just a nice 1500 um, DA with a dry 3M paper. Some compound and polishing. It's going to make that car look like a million bucks. And it's already all over what it was. So it's uh, customer will be happy. Um, I'll be happy with it because uh, we put a lot of time into it and uh, we'll see how it looks when it's all buffed and polished. I'll probably do that in stages. I'm not going to I'm not going to be able to do it all at once because I got other jobs I got to work on and uh, we'll see how she goes. not Arizona. <laughs> I always think of James Freddy's and VW Darren when this stuff starts. And Turbo Cobra working in his t-shirt <laughs> down in Texas. 
Be a good beach day today. Not too bad.